paraplegic at 13, Gladys Fogia says she has found her freedom of movement through dance. Like other professional dancers with disabilities, Fogia is seeking to be recognized above all as an artist. For me, dancing was over. The accident had shattered this dream. One day, I discovered what it is, inclusive dance. And by chance, a German troupe had come to give a demonstration. So I said to myself, oh yes, that's what I want to do. I want to continue dancing even if I'm in a wheelchair. And that's how the adventure began. A handful of associations have been working in this new direction for more than a decade in France, such as La Possible Echappée, founded in 2007. It's different, it moves differently, but you find the same freedom as an able-bodied person, and that's what I was looking for. I was absolutely looking to find this freedom of movement that I have in my body, so I have to combine wheelchair movement and arms because I am paraplegic, so I still have my arms. So you have to manage to combine the two and that's what will make the beauty of the movement, being able to move in space and at the same time have gestures in the upper body. More than an object to get around, the wheelchair is an integral part of this creation. The good thing about art is that you can be a child again. So with a wheelchair, you can slide, you can turn, you can balance. It really changes your bearings. I think it's great to be able to rediscover this form of innocence. Fifteen of the organization's artists, including Gladys Fogier, will launch from October 24 in a project dedicated to the ceremony of the 2024 Paralympic Games.